welcome to our holiday recital. It is our school tradition to host a winter recital, to provide an opportunity for our students to perform, to demonstrate their accomplishments, and most importantly, to enjoy. Every year our students add a new flavor to the concert, and I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. Today is a celebration. It's the very first recital for some students, where others are quite experienced to perform on the stage. Our recital will showcase a wide variety of levels from very young beginners right through to advanced students. This variety provides older students the opportunity to remember what it was like to be a beginner, and younger students the chance to see what their hard work will enable them to accomplish in the future. And it's a wonderful reflection of the progress you all go through. So let's welcome our youngest group of performers to present their very first recital pieces.
The snow blankets the roads. Bright lights shine on the trees. Can you feel it in the air? It's the holiday cheer. Let these performers bring you the spirit of the holidays.
is Jordan. I'm going to be playing Burlesque in G major and Waltz. the mind. Music is the strongest kind of magic and our next group of performers share the wonders they found in their songs in this most magical season of all.
Thank you.
and today I will be playing A Brave Man and Footpath in the Rain. Two, three. My name is Samantha and I'll be playing Kose's. Cheer for those that are close, cheer for those that are far. Let the season cheer your heart, let the music heal your soul. Listen to these performers and be comforted in your heart that we can still be together while apart. Dance of the Little Swan
name is Megan and today I'm going to be playing Sonatina by Clement.
Every big accomplishment is a series of little accomplishments. David Swartz. With that, please welcome our final ensemble performance, our wonderful teachers. Please extend your warmest welcome. Green drops and roses and whiskers and kittens, bright copper petals of
come to the end. But winter is far from being over. And despite it being the coldest time of the year, winter is the time for comfort, for the good food and warmth, for a touch of a friendly hand, and for a talk beside the fire. It is time for home. Holiday season is time to reflect. Our thoughts turn gratefully to those who have made our progress possible. It is in this spirit that 